Seals are considered some of the most playful, graceful and charming marine mammals that inhabit our oceans. Seals, also known by their scientific name pinnipeds, consist of over 30 different species worldwide. And in the UK, we are lucky to be home to two of these amazing species. Here are the grey seal and the common seal, the two seal species that you can find in the UK. The first of the two species we will be focusing on is the grey seal. The grey seal is the most common and widespread seal species in the UK. They are found along the rocky coastlines and islands of the North Atlantic Ocean. And in the UK, the largest breeding colonies of grey seals can be found on remote islands, such as the Farne Islands in Northumberland and the Orkney and Shetland Isles. Grey seals have a robust and powerful body. Male grey seals, known as bulls, are capable of reaching up to 10 feet in length and weighing over 250 kilograms, which is about the size of two newborn elephants. Females, called cows, are slightly smaller, reaching lengths of about 6 to 7 feet and weighing up to 150 kilograms. Their front flippers are strong and are equipped with five webbed digits, which they use for efficient swimming and manoeuvring through the water. Grey seals also have excellent underwater vision and acute hearing, essential for hunting in dark and murky waters. Grey seals exhibit a wide range of coat colours and patterns varying from silver grey to dark brown. Their name comes from the characteristic mottled or grizzled appearance of their coat, which is unique to each individual. This distinct coat pattern serves as a form of camouflage, helping them blend in with their rocky surroundings. As mentioned, grey seals are primarily found in the North Atlantic Ocean and adjacent seas, making them one of the most widely distributed seal species in the world. Their distribution ranges from the eastern coast of North America to the western coast of Europe, of course including the United Kingdom. Interestingly, approximately 40% of the world's grey seals breed in the UK, and 90% of these breed at colonies in Scotland, with the main concentrations in the Outer Hebrides and in Orkney. Grey seals are also found in significant numbers around Iceland and the Faroe Islands. These areas provide suitable rocky habitats and access to rich marine food sources. In Canada and the US, grey seals are abundant in regions such as the Gulf of St Lawrence in Canada and along the northeastern coast of the United States. They haul out on ice flows and rocky shores, using these sites for breeding, molting and resting. Grey seal behaviour can vary depending on the location and environment. For example, grey seals in the UK are known to exhibit distinct behaviours during their breeding season, gathering in large colonies for pupping and nursing. Grey seals are opportunistic and versatile predators with a diverse diet. They mainly feed on fish, such as cod, herring, sand eels and flatfish, but they are also known to consume crustaceans, squid and even small sharks on occasion. Their strong jaw muscles and sharp teeth allow them to grasp and tear apart their prey underwater. Grey seals are skilled divers, capable of diving to impressive depths of up to 600 feet and staying submerged for extended periods, sometimes up to 20 minutes, in search of food. When we take a look at grey seal feeding behaviours, we can really appreciate the adaptability of this species. In regions with abundant fish stocks, grey seals may exhibit more sedentary behaviour and engage in shorter dives, as they have access to a readily available food source. In contrast, seals in areas with less predictable prey distribution partake in longer and deeper dives to locate food. Grey seals are known for their high level of intelligence and social behaviour. They display a complex range of vocalisations to communicate with each other, including barks, grunts and growls. Grey seals are highly gregarious animals that form breeding colonies during the pupping season. These colonies, also known as rookeries or haulouts, are essential for the successful reproduction and survival of the species. They form close bonds within their colonies and engage in playful behaviours, such as swimming and surfing on waves. Their social interactions contribute to the strong sense of community within their breeding colonies. 
Let's take a closer look at these very important grey seal breeding colonies. The breeding season for grey seals in the UK typically occurs between September and December. During this time, pregnant females come ashore to give birth to their pups. The exact timing of the breeding season may vary slightly depending on the location and environmental conditions. Grey seals gather in large numbers at their breeding colonies. Some colonies can host thousands of individuals and they are often located on remote and rocky shores. Within the breeding colonies, there is a hierarchical structure among the adult males. Dominant males establish territories and harem groups, which consist of several females that they mate with. Subordinate males may also attempt to mate with females, but often face challenges from the dominant bulls. Once the cows give birth, they nurse and care for their pups on land for about three weeks. During this time, the pups rely on their mother's rich milk to grow and gain strength. After the nursing period, the pups become more independent and their mothers eventually wean them. They learn vital skills such as swimming and hunting while still in the relative safety of the breeding colony. After the breeding season, both adult grey seals and weaned pups undergo a molting process during which they shed their old fur and grow a new coat. This molting period can last for several weeks and is essential for maintaining healthy skin and insulation for the seals. Breeding colonies are critical for the survival of grey seals and they are protected under various conservation laws to prevent disturbance during this vulnerable time. Disturbance by human activities, such as approaching too close to the colony, can disrupt the seal's natural behaviour and potentially lead to the abandonment of pups. After the breeding season, they disperse to different foraging grounds, travelling across hundreds of kilometres to find abundant food sources. Now let's move on to looking at the charming common seal, also known as the harbour seal. These seals are widely distributed and can be spotted in various coastal regions around the UK. The common seal has a smaller body length compared to the grey seal, with males typically reaching about 5 to 6 feet in length and weighing up to 150 kilograms. The common seal has a fusiform shape, which means their body tapers at both ends, making them efficient swimmers. Their front flippers are strong and flexible, allowing them to steer and manoeuvre gracefully in the water. The hind flippers are located at the back of the body and can be rotated forward, enabling them to move on land using all four flippers. Common seals have a more limited distribution compared to grey seals, but they are still commonly found along the rocky coastlines, estuaries and shallow waters of the North Atlantic Ocean. However, in the UK, they are present in various regions, including Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and some parts of England, compared to grey seals mostly being seen in Scotland. There are two distinct subspecies of the common seal in the UK the Eastern Atlantic subspecies and the Western Atlantic subspecies. The Eastern Atlantic subspecies is more prevalent in the UK. Common seals are also found along the coast of northern European countries, including Norway, Sweden, Denmark and the Netherlands. They inhabit similar coastal environments such as rocky shores and sheltered bays. In North America, common seals are found along the northeastern coast of the United States and Canada, particularly in areas with rocky coastlines and access to shallow waters. The diet of common seals is very similar to that of the grey seal, as both seals are carnivorous marine mammals whose diets consist primarily of fish. The common seal's favourite prey includes fish species like sand eels, cod, herring, whiting and salmon. Just like other seal species, they are skilled hunters, using their sharp teeth to catch and consume their slippery prey underwater. Common seals are opportunistic feeders, just like grey seals, and adapt their diet to the availability of different fish species throughout the year and in different regions. As we have seen, the adaptability of seals with their diets really helps ensure their survival in diverse marine environments. Common seals are generally solitary animals, but they can be seen in small groups, especially during breeding and molting seasons. The extent of social interaction might differ depending on the population density and local conditions. 
Common seals have a diverse repertoire of vocalisations, both above and below the water's surface. Underwater, they produce a variety of clicks, whistles and growls to communicate with each other and navigate their environment. Underwater vocalisations play a crucial role in maintaining their social bonds, coordinating group movements and potentially warning each other of predators or disturbances. When hunting underwater, common seals rely on their exceptional diving capabilities. They can dive to impressive depths of up to 600 feet and stay submerged for extended periods, sometimes up to 20 minutes. Their acute underwater vision also allows them to locate and pursue prey with great accuracy. Breeding and molting seasons bring them together in small breeding colonies, quite different to the vast breeding colonies of grey seals. During these times, common seal interactions with their small group include vocalising, basking together on haul-out sites and even engaging in playful behaviour. These social interactions contribute to their sense of community and help establish hierarchies within groups. Dominant common seal males establish territories within breeding colonies, often vying for access to females. These territories are defended through displays of dominance and vocalisations. Subordinate males may attempt to mate with females within the territory, leading to competition and hierarchy dynamics within the colony. Common seals also exhibit the behaviour known as hauling out, where they come ashore onto rocks, sandbanks or ice flows to rest, thermoregulate and molt, just like grey seals. These haul-out sites are essential for their well-being, allowing them to conserve energy, shed old fur during molting and socialise with other seals. Common seals give birth to their pups between June and August, earlier in the year than grey seals. Common seals also possess a very unique breeding strategy known as delayed implantation. After mating, the fertilised egg does not implant immediately into the female's uterus. Instead, it enters a state of suspended development, known as diapause, which can last several weeks to months. This adaptation allows the female to time the birth of her pup to coincide with favourable environmental conditions and abundant food resources. Once the embryo implants and development resumes, the female common seal carries the embryo for about 9 to 11 months, including the diapause period. Pupping usually occurs between June and August. The pups are born with a soft, white lanugo coat, which gradually sheds as they grow older. The white coat helps camouflage them against the backdrop of snow and ice or sandy shores, providing them with essential protection during these vulnerable early days. After birth, the mother common seal nurses her pup with a rich and nutritious milk that helps the pup grow and gain strength. The nursing period typically lasts for a few weeks. During this time, the bond between the mother and pup strengthens and the pup relies entirely on its mother's milk for sustenance. As the pup grows, it gradually learns to swim and gain independence in preparation for weaning. These two amazing seal species show the diversity of pinnipeds and the abundant marine life that we have here in the UK. Thank you so much for listening and if you enjoyed this video, come and say hi on Instagram at discoverwildofficial.